Welcome. I'm Doug Giesbrecht, bringing you News Bites with a difference. Different because we can all pray together and make a difference together with the true Lord, Jesus Christ. Today, three interesting developments. Researchers have long searched for a novel cancer drug that activates a certain protein to kill tumor cells. But finding a drug that kills the cancer without causing damage to normal cells has stymied researchers, perhaps until now. If clinical trials for a new drug, MI219, prove out, it could have potential for treating many different types of cancer. In addition to its effectiveness at killing cancer cells without toxic side effects, MI219 can be developed as a pill that patients could take orally rather than the traditional chemotherapy drugs that must be given intravenously at a hospital or cancer center. MI219 is in preclinical studies and not yet ready for human trials in cancer patients. So let's pray together about this new scientific breakthrough. In Jesus' name, Father God, we come to you praising you and thanking you for giving us the ability to discover new things in science. And Father, we pray that you continue to enable us to defeat this dreaded cancer. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. CBNnews.com reports that Singapore is a small country with some of the fastest growing Christian communities in Asia. Now the island nation is making waves for world evangelism. Singapore is a small country with some of the fastest growing Christian communities in Asia. Sandwiched between Malaysia and Indonesia, Singapore was once counted as a third world country. In terms of a small country with no natural resources, it is amazing that God has prospered our country for this purpose so that the gospel of Jesus Christ can go forth from this tiny island, said Joseph Prince, senior pastor of New Creation Church. Today, the tiny island has some 2,000 short-term and long-term missionaries scattered around the world. Let's just pause for prayer. In Jesus' name, we come to you, Father, praising you for raising up a missionary movement out of Singapore. Father, we pray that indeed you would use these missionaries to reach Asia for Christ, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. On another issue, if you don't think anti-Semitism is rising in Europe, Look at the political cartoons. You see, Muhammad from Islam is not the only religious leader cartoon. A Greek cartoon suggests the Israelis kill Christians on Easter. An Italian cartoon shows a baby Jesus worried that the Israelis are going to kill him again. And then there are the cartoons that compare the Jews to the Nazis. It reminds Jews of another period, the 1930s, the time before the Holocaust. The question arises, is history repeating itself? In Europe today, most Jews are at least anxious. Some are scared, and many have already left for, for Israel or the United States. Because even though many European governments have condemned the new rise in anti-Semitism, there is a clear perception among many Jews that Europe's terrible history is somehow coming back to life. The leftist mayor of London, Ken Livingston, said he's against anti-Semitism, but has also said that anyone who goes to kill Israeli soldiers is not a terrorist. And a one-time member of the British Parliament, Jenny Tong, said if she were a Palestinian, she would consider being a suicide bomber. Let's pray about this. Father God, in Jesus' name, we come to you crying out for Europe crying out for all 
the racial interdependence happening in Europe, Father. We just pray that you would stop the repeat of the Jewish Holocaust. Stop this persecution of a whole race of people. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me for News with a Difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may God bless you. We produce new bites daily, Monday through Friday every week. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.